Hello everyone, uh, I'm Pietro Vertecchi and in this talk I will give a broad overview of the Algebra of Graphics library. First of all, I will start by describing the problem that Algebra of Graphics attempts to tackle, namely how to go from data to visualizations. Then I will introduce the philosophy of Algebra of Graphics. I will move on to describe what are the building blocks that form the Algebra of Graphics library and how they can be combined by means of algebraic operations. I will conclude the talk by giving a showcase of the Algebra of Graphics library and of a GUI prototype to create Algebra of Graphics visualizations without writing code. Oh, representing data graphically is a ubiquitous problem. While a wide array of different visualizations exist, um, many plots follow a similar procedure. Um, one will start with a data set that could need to be uh, grouped and uh, potentially processed or analyzed in some way. Um, then the user would decide how to encode graphically either um, categori categorical or uh, continuous quantities in the data. Then they would select an appropriate plot type and maybe pin some attributes. And finally, um, many such plots could be combined to create a more complex figure. So this is an example of one such visualization, um, which depicts the relationship between the um, length and depth of the builds of some penguins from different species. Um, this plot is uh, deceptively simple in that it, um, it incorporates all the ingredients from the recipe on the left. So the data has been uh, grouped across species and uh, um, processed to compute some uh, uh, linear fits and the relative uh, uncertainty. And both categorical and continuous quantities have been encoded in uh, the marker shape or the color gradient. And the different plot types have been used, scatter lines and combined as two different layers. A key observation that I'd like to make here is that these two layers, so the scatter plot and the lines plot, they're distinct, but they share a lot of information. So they share uh, both the data set and the positional arguments, the uh, length and depth of the builds. So algebra of graphics is an attempt to streamline this procedure. So it is, first of all, a language for data visualization based on the plotting library Machia. Um, it's Primary aim is to translate questions about data into relevant visualizations and to do so in a declarative way. Uh, ideally, it should uh, remove cognitive overhead from the user via opinionated graphical defaults so that the user doesn't need to worry about tweaking the graphics and broad data format support so that the effort is spent in thinking about the correct question rather than reformatting the data. Um, algebra of graphics supports both predefined as well as custom analysis, transformations, and plotting recipes. And it encourages users to define and reuse their own custom building blocks that are targeted to their own data sets. Such building blocks can then be combined via uh, multiplication and additions. So here I would like to um, look in detail uh, to an example of how to use uh, algebra of graphics. So this is uh, some, some simple code that can be used for uh, um, some basic visualizations. So one would start with a data set, in this case, this, uh, this data set of measurements from penguins, and then would decide uh, um, how to encode graphically the various uh, variables. So for example, here, we are deciding that the positional argument, so the axis of the plot, will be the length and the depth of the bill with some uh, um, small uh, processing. So in the data they're given in millimeters, I want to uh, convert to centimeters and to uh, change the name accordingly. Then using multiplication, we can combine information together. So we combine the data with the mapping, and then we would call draw and uh, um, plot the result. 
And so this is the visualization that we obtained where the two variables have been um, encoded as uh, axes. This is not quite the um, visualization that we had before because it lacks the um, color gradient and the marker shape encoding, which we can uh, simply add as an additional uh, mapping that would then be combined to form a more complex uh, plot. And this is the, um, the scatter layer of the visualization that we had at the beginning. The lines layer, as mentioned earlier, share some features. So the data set is the same, the bill encoding is shared, but um, other features are new. For example, species is no longer encoded as the uh, marker shape. Marker shape is meaningless for lines, but just as a dummy grouping variable. And we're adding an analysis, so linear, which computes um, a linear fit and uh, its uncertainty. Then by combining all these, um, all these ingredients with uh, multiplication, we get um, a line plot. Finally, the two plots can be, um, can be added. And here we are also using the distributive property of additional multiplication. So we are creating a layers variable that encodes um, the information that is specific to the scar and the information is specific to the lines plot. And we're multiplying it with the shared information. So the data set and the bill encoding. And uh, we get the plot that I shown you at the beginning. I, um, I would like to emphasize that this kind of algebraic structure can be very useful when we wanna um, give some attributes to some plots, so some, some layers, but not, uh, not others. For example, here, if I wanna tweak visually only the lines layer, I can uh, multiply to it some extra information. So here I'm tweaking the, the color only of the lines layer, whereas the scatter layer, I would like to stick, uh, to, stick to the color gradient. Naturally, the figure that we've seen so far only showcases a fraction of what is possible with algebra of graphics. Um, to get a broader overview, I encourage you to go to the gallery built with uh, democars.jl that shows examples of uh, basic uh, visualizations and plotting recipes, uh, statistical analysis that you might want to perform on your data, um, possible uh, data manipulations technique that are supported, um, different types of scales that you can use, either discrete or continuous or potentially a combination of the two, um, as well as all the customizations that can be applied to the um, layout, the axis and the legends, um, and examples of uh, um, complex layouts that we haven't seen so far in uh, the original figure, as well as um, possible applications in different domains, so either with geographic data, ge geometrical data, or uh, time series. Finally, the last thing that I would like to show to you is a GUI prototype developed in collaboration with my colleague, Mattia Bergomi, uh, which allows user to uh, define algebra or graphics plot uh, specifications via a system of uh, smart autocompletes so that it is possible to um, define algebra or graphics visualizations and uh, use algebra or graphics without having to write uh, code. This was everything I wanted to show you. So thank you everybody for your attention. And I'm leaving here in the last slide some links in case you are interested in discovering more about either Macchia, algebra of graphics or dashboard. Thank you.